Chunker has been running pretty good. Uh, still need to play around and finish getting it running on wood gas. This is what I was telling you guys about right here. You can see, well, maybe you can get it on camera. This is actually bending up and it's starting to ride on the groove pretty hard. And it's rubbing on the anvil right here. Let's see if I can get a better picture of that. There you can see where it's rubbing. So as it as the cutter bends up and out, it's just rubbing right here. It's not getting, you know, out of control, but it is a little bit annoying. There. Now you can kind of see where it's kind of humped up where it's been rubbing here. So I am sharpening it pretty regularly. But it's running pretty good. I want to show you guys real quick. This is what I've got going for my uh, poor man wood drying operation. Go to the back tool room. So, got my heater going up there. It's about 65 degrees in here. Here's my wood bin. It's just some one by two wire wrapped it around the circle. This is all the wood that I chunked up a couple days ago that is pretty wet. I mean, you can tell just by the color. I haven't even bothered to put a, a moisture meter on it yet. Not too worried about it. It'll take a little while, but it'll get dry. So like I said, I got the heat going. And I got my big uh, shop fan just kind of blowing into the pile, trying to move some air, you know, across to keep it circulating. Because as Steve talked about before, you know, here in Western Washington, it's so humid all the time. The whole reason I had to cull all of this lumber out of my lumber pile was I was starting to get dry rot in uh, quite a bit of it. Um, I was trying to see if I could find a piece, you know, like you can tell, you know, how wet this piece is just looking at the moisture sitting on the surface. But it's getting, some of it was starting to actually get uh, a little bit punky so that's why I chunked all that up and we'll just keep the fan on it keep the heat on it uh, hopefully it starts drying out in decent time because I think I've got nine bags of fuel left plus one in the truck that's only two days worth of fuel so hopefully this drying area works out get some of this dried up need more fuel for the truck Thanks for watching, guys.